Hello guys, how have you been? How was your weekend? I hope you had a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Ready to face the market this week. In this video, what we're going to be breaking down are some currency pairs, obviously. Some indices such as what did 75 and the commodity, our personal favorite gold. And right now, what we're going to be looking at, we'll also be talking about um, a simple trading strategy for beginners. So if you're a beginner and don't know how to find your way in the market, stay tuned to the end so that you won't miss out on that great content. Okay, so starting off with the US dollar, we're going to start off by looking at it. Obviously, it's creating some sort of a double bottom pattern, um, a cup and handle, excuse me, a cup and handle pattern. For those that aren't familiar with this pattern, it looks like this. Um, so I expect prices to reach here to complete this pattern. So it's like a bowl. Then once it reaches here, what we expect to see is for prices to create a handle and then, you know, keep on going back up. So that's basically a cup and handle pattern, right? So that's what I anticipate prices are doing right now. And this is because obviously, if you look down here, we have an internal pattern that was already created by the same pattern the same cup and handle, if you look at it. This was an internal smaller pattern. So right now what I'm anticipating is that prices are playing out according to fill this pattern. So I expect prices to keep on pushing higher. Okay, right there. You can see that you have to start um, measuring, if you're measuring the cup and handle pattern, you have to start measuring where the retracement took place. So this was the break of structure. And this was the retrace, and then prices started pushing higher. So I expect prices to push higher until this market structure over here to fill this pattern right here, right? And as you can see, the momentum is still kicking in. It's very strong. So I expect prices to, you know, keep on pushing higher. That's the US 30. So I expect prices to keep on pushing higher. And another confluence to back that up is this. Um, diagonal pattern, you can see that prices, right, were like that, created that, broke above that, and right now are pushing higher. So I expect prices to push higher until again at the same market price where that um, cup and handle pattern were looking to fill it, right? So I expect prices to, you know, keep on pushing higher until here. This is our second confluence that shows prices will keep on pushing higher. So this is all based on the US dollar. So if the US dollar will be strong, what does that indicate for other US pairs? That will obviously indicate that most of the US pairs will keep on pushing higher, including this one, obviously, um, Chef JPY, including Chef JPY. As you can see here, Chef JPY just broke this previous market structure here with the great last week, it was a strong bullish and golfing candlestick. So I expect prices to keep on pushing higher until the next market structure over here. Because as you can see here, there's no resistance to stop this move and it's a very strong bullish momentum. So I expect prices to, you know, keep on pushing higher until prices reach here, right? So talking about the US, um, we can also look at this, our favorite commodity, gold, right? Now, with gold, gold obviously always goes inversely proportion with the US dollar. So if the US dollar is bullish, gold will be bearish. If gold is bearish, the US dollar will be bullish. Um, you can see we took this trade, a beautiful, beautiful trade right here. We took this trade last week. Unfortunately, we went break even uh, very early and we are stopped out at break even. But if you didn't go break even, that means you got this risk to reward. It was a beautiful trade, giving us about 400 pips. So it was a beautiful, beautiful trade. Now, I'm also going to be talking on how you can actually catch moves like this at the end of this video. So stay tuned, guys. This was gold. We actually traded that. Um, now, let's also look at this is US 30. US 30, what I anticipate to happen right now, um, let's go to a higher time frame. Okay, let's remove these. 
So with US 30, you can see here prices have created a double bottom, um, a double top, excuse me. You can see here we have, this is our first top. Right here, we have our first top and our second top. And then prices broke below this neckline here. Prices broke below this neckline and have come back to retest the neckline right here, right? So what I anticipate is for prices to respect this pattern and keep on pushing lower until the next market structure. So just for those that don't know how to trade patterns, obviously the beginners, how to trade the double, um, a double top pattern, um, it's you have to measure the distance from the peak to the neckline, has to be the same distance from the neckline to where your take profit should be. So that means since the pattern has already been completed and prices have broken below that, we'll be looking for prices to push from here all the way to down here. Um, so obviously you can see this four are just closed with the bearish engulfing. So you can actually take this trade here. You can actually take this trade here. If you're conservative, you can actually, um, if you're an aggressive trader, you can actually max up to 6.3. If you're a conservative trader, you can actually get around 4.65, which is both a great trades. So um, that's US 30 and how you can actually capitalize it on it this very week, right? Okay, now let's look at, um, I'm going to put a link in a link above here somewhere um, on how you can actually trade double top patterns for those that don't know how to trade them. Now let's also look at volatility 75 because that's another pattern that we need to look at. Ooh, you can see it's already pushing, prices are already crazy bullish. So this is a daily time frame. Obviously you can see prices are in this beautiful bullish trend, right? No doubt about that. It's a bullish trend. It's a pattern, obviously, corrective pattern. Prices are pushing higher. Now, what I anticipate for prices to keep on doing is to actually very be, be very bullish because yesterday's candle, you can see, um, let me go back to the daily time frame a little bit. Yesterday's candle, you see it was a bit bullish and engulfing candlestick. So that means prices will keep on pushing higher. And if you look at this four hour time frame, you can see that the previous high was just broken. The previous high was just broken. So this breaks the structure. So what does this mean? This means that prices will keep on pushing higher. That's what's up. Prices will keep on pushing higher to the next market structure, which will obviously be here. So that's what I'm anticipating volatility 75 right now as the market is playing out. So let's dive right into what I wanted to tell you about today, guys. Simple trading pattern or simple trading strategy for beginners. It's also based on price action because that's the strategy I use. And I believe it's the best strategy out there because you trade off what the price is doing. Like here, you see that prices have broken this previous market structure and are pushing higher. This, we are reading what price action is doing, hence the name price action, right? So what you actually just do is actually just read, um, you just read the market structures, what the market structures are doing. So for instance, if maybe you have zones, obviously the market is made up of zones and supply and demand zones, right? So um, what you actually do is that if prices, for instance, maybe were coming up like this, they came above here and broke above this zone, this is the market structure. What you do is that you wait for a retest on this market structure. And then after that, you just wait for prices to push higher to the next market zone. Now, if prices reach on this market zone here, then you look at its momentum. I'm going to link another video about how to read momentum up here. And then if the momentum is strong, then most likely it's going to break above here. 
and then retest, right? And then retest here because its momentum was high. That means it broke. And then you're going to look for prices to keep on pushing higher. But if its momentum is low, that means it's not going to be able to break here. It's going to bounce off, come back to look for more momentum on this previous market structure before it actually takes off. Oh, excuse me. Before it actually takes off, right? So basically, that's it. All you have to do is wait for a break, retest, and then take the trade to the next market structure. That's how we call it the gold trade. And that's how we're going to catch this volatility 75 trade. Simple pattern. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is just read at the market structure. Break, retest, trade to the next market structure. And on the next market structure, you just read momentum. Is the momentum strong? If the momentum is strong, then that means prices will break retest and keep on pushing higher. If the momentum is weak, that means prices will just bounce off and then, you know, come and look for more bullish power on the previous market structure before it actually goes higher. So that's it. That's very simple, guys. I'm going to be keeping, I'm going to keep on dropping tips like this on a daily basis whenever I drop videos. So if that sounds interesting to you, click that subscribe button so that you won't miss out on future content like this. Till next time, guys, smash that like button. Share with a few friends that you believe this video will be of help to them. Peace and love.